Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. Um, this is an energy shift reading that I'll be doing tonight. So Venus has been in Pisces for a few days now. This is all tropic, by the way. Uh, and today Mercury went into Aquarius. So I know I'm feeling more cerebral. I'm feeling a little better, not so stuck in my emotional body, which is not a bad thing. I'm a water sign. I usually enjoy that. Uh, but it's been a little intense with the Capricorn pressure cooker on top of that. So I know a lot of us have been feeling that, like going in, uh, sorry, excuse me. A lot of us have been going pretty deep as far as um, our emotional stuff and reflecting on some things. And for those who are doing shadow work, it's probably felt a little deep and a little heavy, more so than it normally would. Um, even some old issues have come up for people. I was talking to a friend of mine earlier about that. Um, so that's been where we that's where we've been at and now we're getting <laughs> more into our fun creative rebellious sides we're being very innovative at this time you might even find you're utilizing technology more than you were before even if you are someone who likes technology uh, you might be finding that you're getting creative spurts and you're having to write a lot of stuff down uh, you might even be finding that um you're not necessarily wanting to communicate a lot, but like, how do I say this? You're putting the dots together a lot faster. <laughs> Your brain is working a lot faster than it normally is, uh, which is kind of lightening up this energy a little bit. So with Mercury going to Aquarius, it's a nice coupling with Venus going into Pisces. So it's kind of like lightening up the energy a little bit, which feels really good. But I wanted to pull some cards for this energy shift. I feel like even though we're spending more time in our cerebral parts of ourselves uh it feels like it's going to be a very kind of 3d reading as opposed to a very cosmic reading now the energy that we have at play right now people are working on projects um and anything that's leaning towards humanitarianism as well a lot of people are thinking about projects that affect not just themselves but affect other people affect their communities a lot of people are thinking in the realm of community right now um and for those who are very ambitious, things that, you know, affect the world or the environment, environment's really highlighted right now as well, okay? Um, so that's definitely at play as far as cosmic stuff is going on. But I do feel some messages need to come out for this energy that's coming in with Mercury going into Aquarius regarding your, you know, your everyday kind of lives. So let's go ahead and pull some cards. I'm going to use Radiant Wise as the primary. So let's go ahead and get into this. I feel like some of you guys are asking me questions about my hoodie. There you go. <laughs> It's actually my own merch, so you can go ahead and check out the link below. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have, all, I have a, a lot of different uh, kinds of merch going on there in the store, okay? Let's see what we got here. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy shift with Mercury going to Aquarius specifically? Yeah, things feel way lighter, don't they? Thank God. <laughs> I'm just saying, the last couple weeks have been a little dense, energetically speaking. Any messages for the collective? A lot of you guys are going to feel more comfortable being emotionally detached at this time. That's actually what they're telling me, which makes sense, actually, which makes sense. Don't forget, we also have the new moon in Aquarius. I believe it's on the 24th of January. And of course, I will be doing a live for that on YouTube. And then on Patreon, I'll be doing a live where I do spreads, okay? Um, and those are for patrons only, but go and check that out if you're curious. And I already posted the dates on the community tab on YouTube. Any messages for the collective for this energy shift? You know, it's um, it's interesting, like, the way they're showing it to me. They like to show me stuff, like, graphically, which I think is hysterical. So we've had a good little peak of workflow for a lot of us, and then we hit a, a huge, dense, emotional few days. For some, it went on longer than just a few days, where it really slowed us down to really uh, make us be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? To have us go within, to be a little bit more introverted, introspective, that's the word I'm looking for, introspective, and that's really helped us, and now we're coming back out and going back into work mode. So it was kind of like a little time out from work, but not not a fun one. <laughs> not a super fun time out. I had a little bit of an ascension flu going on, and I do feel a lot better, okay? Any messages for the collective regarding this energy shift? I hope you guys do, too, for those who are also going through that. Any messages? For the collective regarding this energy shift. All right, that feels pretty good. <laughs> I just heard no more water. I don't I don't think that came from my guides. I think that came from you guys. No more water, no more emotions. You guys are funny. Why do I feel like it's not water signs saying that? Why do I feel like it's like fire signs saying that? And my cappies most likely too. Uh, let's see. Any messages regarding this energy shift for the collective? Ooh, 
four of cups in reverse. Oh, shit. Hold on. Closing, closing and slamming doors is what I just heard. Closing and slamming doors. Four of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. For some of us, we might have had a lot on our plates during all this emotional purging. So you guys could have been dealing with your issues around rejection, around abandonment. Um, yeah, that, that's literally like how they said it to me. Now they're showing me all these doors closing. Some of you guys are making some very cutthroat, very cutthroat decisions coming into this energy after spending a lot of time being very introspective on what's going on. Um, some of you guys could have been on the fence about people in your life, about different things going on in your life, about some of the things you wanted to change. And then you got hit with this emotional energy and that puts you on timeout and you couldn't really spend time thinking about it. And now coming out of that, now you're more clear because you've, you've made space, right? Because you purged a little bit or you've dealt with some shit. So now you have the space to think clearly to know what you don't want in your life anymore. And again, I'm getting cutthroat decisions, slamming and closing doors. Wow. Yeah. Two of swords on the bottom decisions. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy shift? King of Swords, Aquarian energy. Could also be Gemini or Libra with the Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, being very, very clear in what you do not want here. I actually feel like some of you guys, oh, this is interesting. Why do I feel like a fighting off of people? Some of you guys are rejecting people who are way too defensive and acting out, who think they know best. Wow. Okay. Yeah, some, wow. Yeah, some of you are realizing that people in your life have been, uh, how do I say this? Have been a little charismatic. I'll say it like that. Have been a little charismatic and you're realizing, oh, this person's actually full of themselves a little bit. And I need to like not, I need to not. <laughs> I need to not engage with them. I need to not have them in my life. I need to like close the door. I need to slam that door. Uh, some of you are just so clear coming out of this emotional period, right? Coming out of this emotional period of what you want, that you're really um, going full balls to the wall with it and very confident in standing up for yourself and standing up for what you want moving forward. I feel a lot of this is around career. Yeah, I feel a lot of this is around career. But some people that you're shutting out, like literally slamming doors, <laughs> metaphorically, not literally, but you know, that's like just they're showing it to me. So I'm like, oh my God, that's so intense. Um, some of these people that you're slamming doors on are not going quietly, which is why you're having to slam the door energetically. They're not happy about it. They ain't happy about it. And these are people who are not dealing well with this energy, who are not facing their own stuff, like the way you've faced your stuff. Oh, boy. A lot of you guys are also really tired of having to... Um, deal with very aggressive energy people have been very aggressive right now because of like what i had just mentioned um people not dealing with their shit so like toxic masculinity is coming to the surface by the way all of y'all who are like triggered by that term you don't gotta watch me just saying it's just a term <laughs> it's just words it's just words it's just a term uh but again those are people who are dealing with their well not dealing with their stuff getting so triggered by that anyway moving it forward i didn't say toxic men i said masculinity which we all you know have masculine energy anyway moving forward uh yeah they're not going quietly Ooh, page of cups in reverse i feel tantrum with this wow <laughs> yeah there's about to be another major cleanup in a lot of our lives that all of us are going to be initiating because we're coming out of this emotional time um getting out of our emotional bodies thinking very clearly um being very okay being emotionally detached and it's also helping us get back to work um and closing doors on people we need to close doors on that maybe we didn't realize we're, be we're being very charismatic and not exactly mature okay and when you do those some of them might have actual tantrums okay Ooh, wow. Any other messages for the collective? Any other messages for the collective? Any other mess? Yeah, beautiful. Any other messages for the collective? Wow, I'm loving this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. King of Wands, Leo energy could also be fire or air with the sun, Leo. I do feel like a lot of you um, who have been working on your stuff are coming into this kind of masculine energy, masculine energy that is 
honestly, like living it up, very healthy, very balanced masculine energy. And it's not easy to get here. Some of you are already going through your rebirthing process. Sun is indicative of that rebirthing process. And I mentioned that in the last video where I was seeing visions of that. Not all of you are here, but some of you are, are getting to this point in time uh, with this energy that's coming in. Okay, really, really beautiful. Even if you're a female is just representing masculine energy. But that that ain't pretty. That is not pretty. Some of the stuff that you guys are closing doors on not pretty very immature tantrum like very defensive very aggressive it's almost like some of you are gonna be a little surprised like they were because i'm getting that like charm vibe and then you're like you know e i've done some thinking i need to focus on this and this is kind of holding me back some of you guys actually may come to that realization that you were cool to have in my life for a while, but I, I need that space or I need that time back for myself to do this, that, or the other to innovate, right? To go full balls to the wall with that innovative energy and they're not gonna like it. They're not, sorry, they're just not. They're not, okay? Not to mention, I'm also noticing we do have Aqua and Leo, the one sevens of each other. Some of you, this may be a romantic partner, partner. this could be a coworker, this could be a friend, a family member, but someone who um, you were very close to or you've had some close ties to. Overall energy, we do have Nine of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy. Then we have the Eight of Swords, Gemini. Ooh, and then beautiful. We got the Eight of Wands, Sag. Very nice with the Page of Wands. So this energy, the Nine of Cups in reverse and Eight of Swords, this is some of us getting stuck in that emotional time, but also um, getting trapped in disappointments or the fear of being disappointed, right? And some of us may have been battling this during our emotional periods. <laughs> Some of you are still going to be in this energy and that's okay. But then, boom, all this fire. Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands. This is getting up out of that and being like, you know what? I can do it. <laughs> be like, you know what? I do know what I want. I need to have space to do this, that, or the other. And I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Page of Wands is a very inspirational energy. It's good news. It's it's that creative fire. It's also going on an adventure, going for the new. Eight of Wands is unstoppable movement or communication. Also could be intuitive hits or downloads. I, I personally feel like it's more about just unstoppable movement. And you're going to get out of this. You're going to get out of anything that was holding you back. You're going to get out of fear. Some of you guys were also facing fear that you thought you had dealt with. And lo and behold, it's still kind of there. And that's okay. Some of you, this is representing some old stuff too that, again, you thought you dealt with around issues of um, abandonment or codependency. Switch to the Nine of Cups in reverse. Inadequacy, energy like that. But breaking away from that, which is awesome. I like it. Wow. Okay. So Four of Cups in reverse, this is the slamming of the doors is what I'm feeling like coming out of that emotional time. So let's go ahead and break that down a little bit. Actually, let me get some tea. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I did not make a good ratio. Nah. Anyway, let's go and use uh, the crystal deck. I need water. <laughs> God, that needs a little honey or something. Mm. Okay. Let's do four cups in reverse. And it's really unfortunate too because a lot of you are going to be looking at this person or many people representing this energy, this tantrum-y, defensive, aggressive energy. And some of you are actually going to take pity on them. You're going to feel you're going to feel for them. Um, and that's actually a sign of maturity. That's a sign of growth. That's a major sign of alignment as well. Understanding that everyone's human. Everyone's human. And especially being in that Leo energy. Leo energy can be very compassionate. So you got double Leo energy over there, especially with the sun. Um, yeah, I can, yeah, Samira's going to feel really bad for them. And have a lot of compassion, a lot of empathy. Like, wow. Um, like, I'm really sorry you're reacting this way, and I really hope you find some some peace and some healing. I send you nothing but love. Some of you guys are going to take that stance. Uh, if you don't have that initial reaction, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you do, just know that it is a, it is a sign of growth. It is a sign of growth. Time of four cups in reverse. Time of four cups in reverse. For the collective with this energy shift. Time out four of cups in reverse. Yeah, they keep showing me like that graph again of like 
intense working energy, boom. <laughs> emotional hit emotional plummet that we got with january 12 and venus going into pisces before mercury uh went over to aqua not to mention still dealing with the full moon cancer eclipse energy and the new moon cappy eclipse energy uh that's me to play for a while but all of that work and work and work and boom. <laughs> emotions deep emotional time and then oh okay i'm good i'm back to work <laughs> time to clean house again it's just very interesting time about four cups in reverse for the collective. Talking about four cups in reverse for the collective. Regarding this energy shift. Wow. Yeah, page of cups in reverse. You're not dealing with anybody who's emotionally immature anymore. You're not. You don't got the time. You're only dealing with adults. That's it. You're only dealing with adults. Could we know someone younger than you too? Not necessarily. We just have page of cups in reverse both times. You're also not dealing with anybody who does wear a mask, who, you know, parades themselves as a charmer. And then lo and behold, they're just, they're someone who is immature and a little aggressive and a little defensive. Talking about four of cups in reverse. Yeah, so yeah. Strength card in reverse. Leo. God, a lot, a lot of Leo energy. Uh, strength in reverse. Leo energy. Yeah wow oh this is sad um this person and our persons that you are slamming doors on closing doors on again you're realizing that they've been holding you back or they've been affecting your spiritual growth they've even been affecting uh, maybe some of the work you've been wanting to do on yourself some of you have also realized that your path has taken some detours unexpectedly and you're wondering you've been wondering why this is why because you've been energetically attached to this person and or people this again this is not for everybody this is for those who didn't cut off people who you mo you probably should have just just saying i'm not saying like it's bad that you didn't everything's a learning lesson but holding on to people like this or staying energy energetically attached th these are people going in the karmic washing machine and being energetically attached to these people affects that for you i'm not saying it threw you into the karmic washing machine uh but it definitely slowed down your progress a little bit okay and again nothing wrong with that it's a learning lesson. You're learning a lot from that, okay? But with Page of Cups in a verse and Strength in a verse, I mean, you're dealing with someone who, um, I hate to say, like, doesn't have courage, but that's exactly how it feels, where it's, like, it's that false sense of courage. It's, like, it's acting out of ego. How do I, how do I say this? Um, like, someone who's really insecure. Okay, I'll say it this way. And I'm not judging. We've all been there, myself included. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where someone's really, really insecure and so they lash out because at the end of the day, they actually are just really insecure themselves and they don't really have the courage to say this, that, or the other or be direct. Thank you. Be direct. Some of you are dealing with people who are very non-communicative as well, okay? Let's see what else we got. Tie out four cups in reverse. You're also realizing that um, for some, the people that you're dealing with don't know how to be honest, because they, because they can't be honest with other people if they're not honest with themselves. Talking about four of cups in reverse. Talking about four of cups in reverse. Got two more cards out here. Ooh, three more. Wow, Jesus. Talking more about four of cups in reverse. All right. So now we have. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, could also be Earth or Fire. Yeah, you're realizing this person has no growth. And that they're not looking for growth. They're not growing. They're not working on themselves. But you are, and you want to. That, are, that automatically puts this kind of connection up for... How do I say this? <laughs> I was going to say up for elimination. Are we on a game show? Um, <laughs> that automatically... I kind of want to talk like that. That's so weird. Maybe some guys are really, really into game shows. I like this very specific uh, lingo I'm using because I just heard Chopping Block. That automatically puts this uh, connection or these kinds of connections up on the chopping block. Because if you want to grow and the other person doesn't, what can come of that connection? Right? You're going to be on different pages at some point in time. Yeah, this person has no interest in growing. No, no interest in growing. And then we have, wow, yep, there it is. The Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, could also be air or fire with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, Six of Wands, Jupiter, Leo energy, victoriously moving on and telling this person, look, I'm on this path. I want this, that, or the other. You want different things. You want this, that, or the other. 
I, th I, th I think it's time we go our separate ways through Pentacles and Verse. I don't think we should be trying to deal with each other anymore or have some kind of connection anymore. Uh, we're not on the same page. And Six of Wands, you're going to be very victorious in having this conversation. Over energy, we do have the star in reverse. Aquarian energy, this is taking you off your path. This is slowing you on your path and you're realizing it and you just can't have it anymore. And it's just the truth. It's just the truth. And now you're coming to a place, especially with eight of this energy, that you're okay emotionally detaching from this. You can thank Aquarius for that, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they're not happy. They're, they're not happy. They're not happy with this. They understand what you're saying. They're just not happy about it. They're not happy about it. And they are going to throw a bit of a tantrum. And you're going to be looking at them like, well, I'm really sorry. I'm on my new path. I'm on my path. I'm, re I'm reborn. I'm going towards my rebirth. If for those who haven't had your rebirthing yet, okay? God, do I even want to look at this person's tantrum? I don't really, if I'm being totally honest. Um, yeah, I don't really, but I will. I will. Uh, I'll use Legacy Deck for the Page of Cups in Reverse. I'll talk about Page of Cups in Reverse. I'll talk about the Page of Cups in Reverse. For the collective for this energy shift sorry for all the noises in my apartment i know it's so the plumbing is so loud so i have page of cups in reverse that's actually coming from my neighbors below me so i have page of cups in reverse you know it's really sad too like i can just see the energy of these two kings of you and the other person or persons and you guys are very like direct very firm some of you guys might be a little too blunt i'm being honest some of you guys might be a little too blunt but you're very sure-footed and very confident in knowing what you want and knowing what you have to do and this other person looks oddly confused like like side-eyeing they probably won't even look at you directly when you're talking to them if this conversation's happening in person they probably um they probably might even carry themselves how do i say this uh it's going to be a quick switch because I can see it. It's like they're carrying themselves kind of like a little shrunken. That's what it is. Like a little shrunken, a little timid, not really interested in the conversation. But once you say like, I need to go this way or that we can't do this anymore or what, however you word it, they're going to switch and they're going to go into that false confidence that's like boosted out of insecurity. Some of them might even get angry. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Anyway, let's keep going. Tell me more about the page of cups in reverse. Four swords in reverse, Libra energy. This person really needs a timeout. Um, and I don't mean like you need to put them on timeout. I mean, I think this person actually needs like to be away from people for a while, to take a rest, to actually become, I can't hold on to guards today, to actually become enlightened. Four swords is the energy of recovery, meditation, break time, vacation time, sleeping, resting. Four swords in reverse, they need to do this. They're not doing this. Um, like I said, because they have no interest in growing. This person was like, for some, they, uh, these people like to keep themselves busy because it actually distracts them from the reality that they don't want to face about themselves. Let's see what else wants to come out. Tell you page of cups in reverse. I don't think this person's is there's something weird about sleep. Hold on. There's something weird about sleep. Um, you might be seeing this person in the dream space or they don't sleep well. It's one or the other. I'll tell you what, page of cups in reverse. I just heard resistance. I'll tell you what, page of cups in reverse for the collective. Wow, yeah, six of pentacles, Taurian energy. Wow. Oh, well, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is, is an energy of fairness, of charity, of giving, of balance. Uh, with four swords and a versus person doesn't have it. They're resisting this. They're resisting honesty. They're resisting balance in their life. They're resisting fairness towards you. Over energy, yeah. Ace, wow. Ace of Pentacles in a verse. Ace of Swords in a verse. And there's Justice in a verse. Yeah. Oh, totally. Totally. Um, I'm just getting missed opportunities, instability, illusions, mostly illusions that this person has placed themselves in. I'm hearing denial as well, especially with Justice in a verse. 
Um, this person doesn't want to be fair towards you. Some of you are finding this out for the first time. Some of you guys might be kind of surprised. Others of you aren't. You're like, yeah, okay, I figured this is also why I need you not in my life right now. Or I need to like not be energetically connected to you. Um, this person might even say that life has been very unfair to them. This person might also wear a badge of honor of like, um, like they might have had a hard life and they might wear that as a badge of honor. Or the way they act, they might wear that as a badge of honor. That's for some. Either way, it ain't, it, it's not, ugh, no. It's really unfortunate because they just can't face their own shit within themselves. And so because of that, you're realizing if they can't do that for themselves, they can't do that with me or they can't do that within this connection. And I need to not be held back. It just, you guys are treating it like it just is what it is. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I mean, your life is your life, right? Why would you let anyone else drag you down? Or why would you let anyone else hold you back, right? I know, heavy, heavy, heavy. So let's look at the King of Wands and the, I was gonna say, and the Leo card. <laughs> and the sun. I'm more curious about the sun. This is definitely your guys' energy. Feeling really strong, very confident, very gung-ho, very sure-footed on I need to do this, that, and the other. And it just is what it is. But let's look at the sun and see if we get more details off of that. Um... Do I want to do gilded? Yeah, let's do gilded. Climb up the sun for the collective regarding this energy shift. We don't have the magician out here, but I just saw the magician card. Like they just showed it to me. So you guys might be um, manifesting or something that you've manifested a while ago might now be coming into fruition because it's the right time and you're making space while you're getting rid of these kinds of people in your life. Like I said, for some of you, it's one person. Some of you, it's multiple people in this kind of energy. You're basically detaching yourself from anyone who's stuck in the karmic washing machine. Time out the sun. Time out the sun. Time out the sun. Yeah, they're actually, they're actually showing me like sandbags is what they're actually showing me. It's like you're in a boat and you're like throwing the sandbags out of the, out of the boat. Tell me about the sun. <clears throat> and, I, and you're not being heartless. I mean, you do feel for this person, but at the same time, they're not your responsibility. Tell me about the sun. Six of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy. So yeah, you're also being illuminated here as you're heading towards your rebirthing process or going through your rebirthing process that again, they're holding you back. It's so funny, I just said a boat with sandbags and we got the Six of Swords in Reverse, the card with the boat in it. Um, again, illumination that, oh, I'm getting slowed down. I'm not allowing myself to get slowed down anymore. Time about the sun. Five of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy. Again, you're not allowing yourself to get slowed down. You do for, you, it's like you have forgiveness. Again, you're not being heartless. You're not at all. I feel it. You do have compassion there. You do, but you're not going to participate in this kind of a dynamic anymore. A dynamic that, I don't even feel like it's malicious. Like sometimes the five of swords can be very malicious, vindictive energy. I don't even feel like it's like that. Um, this person might get into the energy when you tell them that you're not doing this anymore. For some, you, you could have had a little bit of that dynamic, but I don't feel it at all. I just feel like it's almost like a losing situation that if you try to work it out, it's not going to be to anyone's benefit. And you're understanding that. Talking about the sun. Yep. Two of swords, moon and Libra energy decisions decisions um you might have been conflicted about this for a little while two of swords can also indicate um a little bit of like a stalemate energy a little bit of like mental confliction there over a choice but with the sun card you're being illuminated as to what the right choice is talking about the sun talking about the sun for the collective talking about the sun This is interesting. 
because we've been talking about masculine energy, right? So four of wands in reverse, Aries energy, and then we have the queen of wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. I feel like this is the other person. Their masculine side is the king of swords. Their fem feminine side is more like the queen of wands. This person is not integrated with themselves, okay? Very uh, separated here. With the four of wands in reverse, again, you're breaking off this, ener this, this energetic connection that you have with this person. And it is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Some of you might be really hard because there is a sense of like major attraction here. You are coming across as a true pair, their feminine side to your masculine side. Some of you guys, this could, inc this could indicate... Counterpart situation doesn't have to be, though. It just indicates someone that you felt very uh, connected to, someone that you felt very close to, someone that you felt com very compatible with at some point in time, but you are breaking that off here, okay? Because you're also realizing there hasn't been any growth. There won't be any growth because this person doesn't want any growth, and you do. Again, automatically putting the connection up on the chopping block. Overall energy, four of cups. Can't serene energy. It's holding you back. It's not serving a purpose in your life anymore or theirs, or theirs. There's no benefit to trying to work this out or stick this out if this person doesn't want to go on a path of growth. And that is okay. Sometimes we just meet people for a reason, to learn some shit, to have some experiences, and that is okay. And for a lot of you, these connections are just serving that purpose and it's time to let go and you already know that, all right? Oh, but you guys are headed off to a good place, okay? For those who are in that King of Wands, sun energy, and dealing with, you know, unfortunately, people who aren't dealing with their shit, okay? So I hope you guys found this message to be very helpful and, in, uh, and, and uh, insightful. <laughs> Uh, and I will see you guys later. Uh, don't forget to check out Vimeo, Patreon, and Instagram. Uh, I did have some questions about my Patreon as far as like the monthlies. Um, I do offer the videos for single purchase or rent on Vimeo for those who feel like a member, they can't afford a membership. I did that intentionally for people who feel like they can't afford a membership uh, for the monthly reading. So go ahead and check out Vimeo if you still want to like, you know, watch one sign. Forget the pricings, but if you want to watch multiple signs, the membership is more cost effective, okay? But go and check that out for those in that boat because I did see a few comments like that. And Patreon does have completely different content. They're not extended, especially with the new format that I have. I offer a tier for Balmy Spirit Uncut, which is a material that I can't put here on YouTube, material I can't talk about on YouTube because all the censorship, censorship stuff. And we also do live chats on topics that I posted for the Balmy Spirit, Spirit series. And then uh, I have another tier where I do weekly readings, okay? All right, guys, I will see you later. I hope you guys have a really good night and namaste.